in Spartanburg, a special tree behind her as well. Hi, Christine. Good morning. Yeah, guys, absolutely. A red maple right here in Liberty Park in Spartanburg, right across from Spartanburg Regional this morning. And we're talking to some very important people. We're talking about a partnership between Sharing Hope and, of course, Donate SC. Um, and obviously, organ donation, tissue donation, very an important topic because it is Donator Month, Donation Month, April is. And then tomorrow is Donor Day. Big celebration happening in Columbia, but plenty of things going on up in the upstate as well. Yesterday, a tree planted here in Liberty Park. And this is kind of a living memorial, um, as Shona was telling us, just about donating, the importance of it, families that are impacted. Take a look at some of those photos. Those are from yesterday. We have those of the ceremony. Obviously, this very, very um, impactful for a lot of the families involved. But we were just talking about some numbers. Right. Um, still a lot to, to do here in the state. Yeah, there is. Right now, there's roughly a 1,000 people waiting on a transplant in South Carolina. And thankfully, we have a lot of people that do sign up and register to be donors. But 22 two people a day in this country die waiting on a transplant. So we have a thousand waiting in South Carolina roughly and it grows enormously to 120,000 across the country and many of those die um, waiting on a transplant because 22 people a day die waiting because not enough people sign up to be registered donors. Awesome. Mark Johnson here with Sharing Hope SC. Tell me how do you get the word out? How do you talk to people about this? Um, Events like we had last night that bring awareness to the fact that um, it's a living legacy. It's a legacy that goes on that people can, you know, it's a great thing to do. And then, you know, talking with the media, working with the media. And tomorrow, as you mentioned, is uh, Donate Life Day at the Capitol. And also it's Donate Life Month in the Capitol. So it, it's a time to educate people about uh, the myths and misconceptions. A lot of people have misconceptions about donation um, that you can find out more information by going to, going to DonateLifeSC.org. Beautiful. I think we've also put that at WSPA.com as well, an easy way to find out more. There's even an app. Guys are going to be talking about that all throughout the CW. Back to you. Thanks, Christine. There's a 